take a few moments to introduce you to the transmitter and the receiver of the live unit and then also the transmitter of the mic plug. The Sennheiser G4 mic plug is a neat little unit. On the bottom there's a red power button that you can hold and the screen will turn on. I'm going to hold it now. You see the, the white LED turn on. I really like the G4 series because the G3 series had, had a yellow screen so this white screen makes it very good. On the bottom you also have up and down buttons and a set button right there. You press the down or the up buttons to scroll through the menus and then you press the set button to enter any menu. And so you can just scroll up or down and then when you hit the set button it'll let you get in that menu. And then if you want to like change the frequencies, for instance, you can just scroll up and down. You, you like that frequency, you hit the set button, go to the next frequency, up and down, find the frequency you want, hit the set button, and then it's stored. The LED screen will tell you that it is stored. Um, one way that I like to use this unit, I like to um, turn the mute button on and off. I don't like to keep the, the mute on so that people that are using my, my microphone won't, you know, mute it and won't understand why the mic doesn't work. But, you know, everything is very easy to press. If you got skinny or fat fingers, you can do it easily. And then again, if you just hold the power button, the unit will turn off. Very simple. What's more with this unit, it's really easy to plug in a microphone and secure the microphone. Any dynamic microphone can plug into this. You press it in and then you take this locking mechanism and then you turn it um, clockwise and it will tighten and then you can't pull it out. And then if you turn it counterclockwise, it will loosen. Any dynamic microphone works easily. So this makes this uh, mic plug a very useful unit. Plugging in a microphone into the wireless unit is simple. You just simply put it in the top and then you twist it to secure it. This is very simple and very easy. Also on the receiver, if you want to plug in the XLR, just take the eighth inch side of it, stick it into the top and you're going to twist it and it locks in the microphone and the receiver plugs in, twist and locks. If you want to get on my nerves, complicate things. I hate when things are made harder than they need to be. And this unit doesn't do that. I really love it. One thing that I love is the white screen. The G3 unit that I have, it has a yellow screen, but this white screen is pretty good. Also, um, some of the features in here like the easy setup, the ability to name the unit, to adjust my output, to um, go into the advanced section and change the frequencies, or even use uh, one of my new favorite features is in the easy setup menu, you can literally um, scan a new list. When you scan a new list, the unit will automatically scan the area wherever you are. It will scan the area for the cleanest frequencies and it will give you multiple banks of frequencies. And as you're going to see after we scan, it's scanning, um, it's scanning my frequency range 516 to 558. And after it gets through, gets through scanning that frequency range, what it's going to do is it's going to say like bank one may have nine clean frequencies. Bank two might have seven, but it's going to tell you how many clean frequencies you have in each frequency bank. That feature alone is absolutely wonderful. Not everybody carries a spectrum analyzer. Not everybody carries, um, you know, something where they can, you know, really look at the frequencies. And if you're, you know, kind of a beginner, you're not used to trying to manually find clean frequencies, this unit makes it very easy to do that in the easy setup menu. Also, you can take the traditional route and just go to the advanced menu 
and set your frequency there. Once you're in the advanced menu, go to tune. And then once you go to tune, hit the set button. Use the up and down arrows to change your frequency. Once you find your frequency, hit the set button. Use the up and down to uh, change the, change this, this frequency. Hit the set button and then it's gonna store. And then once your receiver is set, I'm gonna show you an easy way to sync your receiver with your microphone transmitter. It's gonna be very easy to make make both of these units um, to get them on the same frequency. Let me power this on and right now they're on different frequencies. My receiver is set to 540, 725 and my, and my microphone transmitter isn't on that frequency. What you wanna do is just go to the sync menu on your receiver hit the set button and the, right there is the infrared. What you do is you put the infrareds on top of each other just like that and boom, now they're on the same frequency, okay? Let's do it again real quickly. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change the, the uh, frequency on my receiver manually. I'm gonna manually change the frequency just so I can show you that sync one more time. It's so easy, I probably did it too fast for you, okay? So now that they're on different frequencies, you look at my receiver, I'm at 524.250, and my transmitter is still on 540, 725. So what I'm gonna do is on my receiver, once again, go to the sync menu and hit set. Now you just put the infrareds on top of each other and then when the sync goes away, there it is, 524-250. The, the uh, receiver and the transmitter are in sync. Favorite feature. Okay, this is my field kit that I put together. I have mu multiple um, transmitters, receivers. In the middle you see the yellow screen, that's the G3 unit. I got some um, IEM um, in-air monitors over there. I got some G4 um, mic and transmitters. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on and we're gonna prepare to do um, this mic test. On this unit, I like it because it has meters on the screen. The left meter right there, it's showing a little bit of um, radio frequency already on the 525, 175 here at Coastal Carolina. Um, I have had some um, frequency issues just because there's a lot of RF going on. And so I'm going to just turn on and try multiple units to see what frequency bank will give me the cleanest frequency, okay? So I'm gonna start with this G4 right here, this receiver. This frequency is at 516 in a while. There's definitely something on a 516. It's probably the ref mic or something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the advanced, I'm gonna go to tune, and I'm just gonna try to get, get away from 516 a little bit. Get away from a little bit, let's say 519, 175, store, 519, 175, and boom, still something there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to advance again, go to tune, I'm gonna hit set, I'm gonna go a little, let's, let's go a little bit higher. Let's go 530 something, let's try 533, uh, 175. And then if we look, ah, so this is absolutely what you wanna see. No audio signal, no RF signal. Thank you for watching this video where we share our favorite features and functions from the Sennheiser G4 EW100 series of microphone transmitters and receivers. For more, visit our website, preachandplay.com.